Okay, more spoilers. Here we go. Let's start with Rickon. Rickon is a 3 CP water forward uh, job sky pirate, category 12, uh, 7,000 power. At the beginning of the attack phase during each of your turns, all job sky pirates uh, forwards other than Rickon gain 2,000 power until the end of the turn. Uh, so this card is kind of fast, but it's not as fast as need to be. Uh, it's, a, it's a push for Sky Pirates, it's interesting to see, um, and Rickon might be part of what makes them competitive, uh, but it does mean that you're going into multiple colors. You're going into Water, Wind, Sky Pirates, which I don't think is the worst thing in the world. Uh, you do get an Ash that draws you a card, although there's some very good Ashes that you could put in the deck anyway. Um, so this is going to help your weaker Sky Pirates like Van uh, from Opus 1, the 5 CP 7k, uh, or Balthier, uh, either the Opus 5 starter one uh, that searches your for Sky Pirates or your Opus 2 one that is going to search for Fran, uh, it's going to help them get extra value as attackers. So if you put um, if you put Rickon in your deck, you're you're hopefully going to be able to push through some matches with some of your forwards, uh, but he, he is kind of a leading you off into another color. I, I'm not 100% sure that's going to be where you're going to want to be. As Sky Pirates, you might want to be want to win. Uh, but one thing I'll mention is I think that uh, you better start putting Sky Pirates on your radar because they're going to be coming. Uh, people are going to be playing them. It's a popular job, so we have to look forward to it. Aria is a very interesting card. A 2 CP, it's pretty powerful. Uh, I think it is too much work to consistently activate it with varying effects, so you have to use it with cards that will do it consistently. So No-No is a really good example, or the new Ash that can activate something every turn. Uh, so the cool thing about No-No is that every single time you attack with a forward, you can activate Aria, and then every time you activate Aria, uh, you can tap it for a thousand power. So if you have a really wide wide board, um, you can do some party attack shenanigans and stack the effect to boost everybody by 2k and then you can start attacking one by one and every single time it boosts everybody by 1k and uh, you could kind of boost up a big board to be um, too big to block or just uh, to force some favorable trades. Uh, maybe this will be in a Wind Water Sky Pirates list uh, as a way to get your Sky Pirates up there um, when you don't have Rick and Odor when you do. Um, so the one thing to note is that this is such a risky backup to have uh, if it doesn't activate during your phase because you spend CP on it and it's not giving you that reoccurring uh, CP advantage that backups are supposed to do. So it's a pretty risky card. Um, I mean, there are some other cards too in, in Sky Pirates, like uh, various vans that activate uh, your backup. So, I mean, there, there's ways that I, I think that that might be a list of where we're going to see it. Uh, but it, it's a very, very interesting design space to get into. So I can't wait to find out if it's actually any good. Okay, next up is Hein. Uh, Hein is a 4 CP uh, dark forward 9000 power. It's a legend for this set. Um, just And it has the text, discard one card, name one element. Hein cannot be chosen by summons or abilities of the named element and doesn't receive damage from summons or abilities of the named element this turn. It also has uh, a 3 CP tap. Hein, choose two characters, dull them. You can only pay with fire, ice, or lightning CP to use this ability. So I'm gonna talk really quickly about the first ability, or sorry, the second ability. Um, it's something that Ice and Lightning can already do. So maybe Fire needs it, but maybe not. Fire already has Unblockable. Uh, it already has Yuri in a lot of decks. It could be a, kind of a neat finisher. The ability is very expensive though, and if your goal is to close out games, then it's going to take away an attack rate. Right? And it can dull backups as well. That's just something to note. Um, so now what's really cool about this card is its first ability. So to, that built-in defense is so relevant because it's no one's ever going to try to remove it because if they do you can probably get away with spending less CP than they did. Uh, and at 9k, that's actually very relevant. If it was 8k, then no one would play this card. It would be unplayable because it would trade into other cards way too easily. So it had to be above curve. So it's going to be able to change your extra backups and dark cards in hand to uh, become like really good value. You can cheat it out with Emperor Gestal as well. Um, and I think that uh, besides something like a board clear like Shantoto or possibly something like in combat there's some tricks with some power boosts or with Belias and First Strike, uh, it's going to be so hard to remove this guy and he could reliably become uh, a blocker for you uh, in any match that you play him. 
I honestly don't understand why, for the most part, dark cards always get these plug and play cards uh, with utility in most decks, and then the light cards of each set are these build around cards that don't see as much play. And I know that light has some very good cards, I see a lot of play right now, including Fusoya, Zidane, and Yuri, uh, but even looking at the most recent Onion Knight versus Cloud of Darkness, uh, you can see that one of them is a plug and play card, and then the Onion Knight is a build around card. Uh, and then if we look at the new uh, light legend Refia, again it's it's a card that you really have to build around and then you look at Hein and Reagan and they are cards that are just good in any deck that you put them into. <laughs> so that's my rant. Uh, moving on to Reagan himself, I really like him. He's so versatile and the EX burst is really huge. So he adds a utility that was mostly only ever seen in Earth and a little bit in Lightning. Uh, and now every element has access to Recursion and Recursion on a forward is good. So I think this card plays very well with Emperor Gestal as the latter is going to play out the former. Uh, but you can also recur it back to your hand and play it again. So if you break Emperor Gestal uh, to play Reagan, it goes to the break zone. You can use stack Reagan's ability um, to then bring back the Emperor Gestal. And if you have Chaos out or Reagan dies, you can play back the Emperor Gestal uh, and break something again and then break it and play another Dark Forward. Uh, so even if you don't play a heavy Dark package and you're maybe just doing Reagan and Emperor Gestal, Reagan can bring back whatever you need him to bring back. Uh, and every element is going to want to recur big threats uh, things like in water you'll want to bring back cloud of darkness for more removal uh, or in ice you might want to bring back uh, Sephiroth and use a special um, or maybe even you just want to bring back some backups so you can kind of like pseudo minor start uh, curving out and, and playing your backups out so I, I think that this card is fantastic uh, and the action ability is is also great if you go heavy dark uh, in your build then you're gonna be able to use it all the time um, I mean it is kind of a, a slow ability one CP and doll and discard a card uh, it, it's not gonna be something you're gonna do all the time but it, it's a perfectly great ability and, it, and it's 7k which is so important to be able to break a lot of different forwards uh, in the game so we're seeing a lot of discard based abilities this set which is a very po interesting power uh, level to establish in the game Volka is another good example of this she's a 3 CP water forward 7k power um, job sworn six of Palladia and category FF brave XPS uh, so all of her abilities cost discard one water summon uh, and they read Volca cannot be chosen by your opponent summons or abilities this turn choose one forward and one backup activate them choose one forward of cost four or less your opponent controls return it to its owner's hand uh, so this card is really good at 3 CP and we'll see a lot of play in any summon heavy water build uh, it has built-in protection although a 3 CP 7k isn't the most threatening card to worry about uh, Fulka's other abilities are. So your opponent will want to clear this, but they won't really have um, that many ways to do it. Again, similar to Hein, where you can outvalue them. The discarding one card will likely cost less than whatever removal they've used on Fulka. Um, so there's some really... Uh, cool things you can do with her abilities. With the activation, you can activate a blocker, uh, so you, that way you can attack and then kind of like pseudo brave activate your blocker. And at the same time, you could reactivate a Fusoya um, and possibly just do a ton of removing. Um, and the bounce effect is also very, very powerful and it could be really timely to clear blockers uh, on your opponents, or sorry, during your turn so that you can uh, go for the win. Uh, you do have to be really careful because this is such an ETB heavy meta, there's a lot of matchups, there's going to be way less uh, uh, targets for this ability, so thankfully she does have her other abilities, and it, you're, it's something that you're likely going to build around. The card's good. And that's it from me, but now I'd like to hear from you, so let me know in the comments what you thought about the spoilers, uh, did I overreact to some, or maybe I missed some interactions with others? Let me know below and we'll chat. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching. You can like and subscribe to support us further, and you can read the Mesidia Post articles at themesidiapost.com. You can also check out our Patreon uh, if you want to support us more. And if you need FFTCG singles, then look no further than Cards of Evilise. So they've got great deals and prices. Check them out. Finally, I'd like to thank FF Decks for creating the best website for creating your Final Fantasy trading card game decks. They've also got a Patreon, so make sure you go check them out. They work so hard for the community, so let's pay them back. See you next time.